Hey guys, Primatrix1986 here. So today I wanted to bring a very, very, very special video review over the Walking Dead C.S. Moore Studio Rick Grimes statue. So this statue was released, I believe back in 2007 or 2008. So it's a, it's a pretty old statue. Uh, it's over a decade old, which is pretty crazy to think about. Um, so... First off, I just do want to give a little backstory on how I got this. Um, I actually uh, saw this statue many times in the past, but it just looked very, very ugly and boring to me. However, uh, for local comic book shop day, I went to a shop in a city near me called Murfreesboro. And I went to a comic shop and I uh, picked up two copies of The Walking Dead, The Alien. And uh, I saw this there in person. And I actually thought it looked really, really, really good in person. So I asked the comic book shop guy how much, um, you know, he was asking for it. And he said 100 but he'd give it to me $70 cash. I told him I couldn't that day, but, uh, you know, I would be back and I'd try to get it. So I've been trying to get this uh, for like the last month or so. And uh, me and my girlfriend, we actually went to Murfreesboro um, this uh, past weekend um, to actually go on a little date and also to pick this up. Uh, now, my birthday is not until about another month. But this is pretty much my birthday present from her, which I'm more than happy for. So we went ahead and got it, and I am thrilled to have it. And um, there are some problems with it, um, but overall, I do like it. And I just do want to throw in there, I'm not going to praise this just because of my bias of my girlfriend getting this. I legitimately really, really, really do like this. Uh, but like I said, though, there are some flaws. So first off... Uh, Statue is fairly big. Um, it's, I want to say the uh, characters are probably at least seven inches if you count the rock. You're probably looking at around eight inches from the rock all the way up to Rick's um, head. If you count the hatchet uh, right there, it's probably about where it's at. Um, it's a solid piece for sure. Um, very, very hard plastic. It's not glass, um, but it's not like an action figure plastic either. It's I don't really know what you'd call it, but it's it's resin, you know, a resin statue. And um, if you look right here, you can see it says "Walking The Walking Dead Statue Number 238 Out of 1,000, sculpted by Claiborne Moore. Which I wonder if he has any relation to Tony Moore. Kind of interesting. Anyways, though, it says uh, 2008, uh, Robert Kirkman, made in China. And, of course, you do get a four little soft uh, places right there so it can sit nice on a table or a desk so coming in close here to the statue itself um, this is where it really really shines now one thing I do want to show off first and foremost and this is what I think turns a lot of people off of it, and honestly turned me off of uh, you know seeing it before in the past I'm trying to kind of get a good angle but if you look right here there we go at Rick's face at first it doesn't really look like Rick to me um, it just don't but the thing is I mean he obviously has two hands as you can see and this is based more around the prison storyline or a little bit before it probably more around issue uh, number I'd say seven to issue number 20 uh, somewhere around there this is like whenever Charlie Adler was first drawing Rick Grimes. And if you look back whenever, uh, you know, Charlie Adler first came into the picture, Rick had that little swoop right here. And uh, this is honestly exactly how the face looked. And, you know, the beard, if you look, actually looks really, really, really good. Uh, you see a, a lot of nice little um, sculpted details in there for the hair. Um... The face does look dirty, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, at first, honestly, I thought that one eye was looking this way and one this way, but it's not. Um, as you can see, they're both looking at the zombie. It's just that if you look at it at like a weird angle, it can appear that way. Uh, but it's kind of hard to look at it dead on because obviously uh, the zombie head is in the way. Uh, but trust me, the eyes are correct. Um, on this side of his face... There you go, you can see more of a uh, you know, little wrinkle right here in his eye, or next to his eye rather, and a uh, nice little beard detail. 
Now, one thing that was pretty cool I didn't really notice until I first got it is looking at the hair, I thought that there was some gloss on the hair and they were, you know, they accidentally put it on there and I was like, oh no, that looks kind of weird. But it is actually blood. Um, I'm trying to see if I can point it out. Yeah, right. See if I can get to focus. Right here. Yep, right there. You see that? Kind of hard to tell, but that is indeed blood splatter um, in his hair, which is pretty cool. Um, I do like that. There's even a little bit of it um, right there up top. Uh, right there. Um, so that looks pretty cool. Now, as for the rest of Rick Grimes, um, I do love the blood right here. I love how it's shiny and, uh, you know, bright, and you can definitely, definitely see it pop on his white shirt, but it's not cartoony blood. It looks really, really good. Honestly, it's appearing a little bit brighter on the camera than in person, um, uh, just by a tad bit, but not, not much. Um, it is also cool because if you look right here on his jacket, you can see some blood splatter you know, on his collar. Um, the hatchet looks very, very cool. It's a very shiny color with some, it uh, looks like, like some dryish, dark looking blood up here and then some um, shiny, fresh looking blood. Um, and of course, he does have the sheriff badge. Which is very very cool and he has the um like little i don't know what you call them the little things right here um and of course there's a sheriff badge right here as well there you are i do like the gun holster pretty cool again uh rick having the gun holster on the right side of his body uh rather than the left just goes to show you it's definitely based on the old comics you know before he got that hand cut off <laughs> Um, but the pants look cool, all the folds, and I do love the kind of like gray weathering to it. Very, very neat. Same with the black, uh, boots right there. Um, as you can see, there's actually a little bit of dirt right there, and I think that looks beautiful. They did that very, very well with the, uh, weathering. It's kind of, kind of like dried mud and dirt look. Absolutely love it. Um, very, very cool. And uh, also, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, you know, right here at his shirt where it meets his waist. I do love the belt, how they also painted in the little silver holes and the buckle. They did perfect on that, even with the pant zipper. You know, it looks good. And the blood right here. Again, I love the different shades of blood. How this is more like a dried up blood and this looks more uh, fresh. Uh, absolutely love the different shades. Um, now... The last thing I do want to point out with Rick, uh, besides the crowbar he has right here um, in his hand, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the one thing I do not like about Rick, um, I mean, first of all, I would have preferred a more um, updated Charlie Adler face, more around issue number 25 or so, you know, whenever he really started to get uh, Rick down. Uh, but it's not really a big complaint. Uh, again, I do like the vintage uh, kind of reminds you of the old days of The Walking Dead, you know. But the one thing I really don't like is the jacket. Um, so, first off, the jacket's blue. Um, it's supposed to be brown. This is Rick's trademark jacket he had from issue number one to the end of the series. And issue number 192. And if you really count the statue in issue number uh, 193, you see of Rick. Anyways, um, so it's supposed to be brown, but... Uh, to be fair, and some of the art um, that they've made, they've colored, the jacket does appear blue. So I can't really discredit the statue itself or the company, considering that Skybound, um, you know, and, and the colorists have done that themselves. I've even made a video on that, I believe, um, you know, if the jacket's blue or, or brown. But it usually appears to be brown, um, so kind of weird. Maybe he has two jackets? I don't think so, but you never know. But, the one thing that bothers me the most, though, and again, that, that's kind of being, you know, fair with the whole jacket color itself, is the collar. Uh, the collar is not furry. The, it's not even sculpted. Um, it's just your average, normal blue collar all the way around, which is a very, very big shame, because that's like a big part of Rick's jacket, you know, like the kind of like white fuzz on it. 
And uh, even whenever the jacket has appeared blue in some art and whatnot, um, the fuzz is still there. So kind of a disappointment on their part, uh, but even then, it's just the collar. Minor little nitpick, but I do wish it was better. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, last little touch, too, looking at the hair is cool. Um, I do like how it looks like the wind is kind of picking up his hair right here. Or maybe, you know, he's been in combat. Well, he obviously is right now, but you know what I mean. You see that. So, that's it for the man himself, Rick Grimes. Let's move on to the zombie. Now, the zombie um, has amazing detail. Uh, by far. Oh, my gosh. Look at this face. Face only a mother could love, right? Um, this is phenomenal, man. Look at that. I love how the eyes are white and gray, but you can still see like a dark pupil right there looking off to the side. And man, that's just creepy looking. The mouth with the teeth and looks like, like the tongue inside. That is just in freaking insane, man. Oh my gosh, I love it. All of like the little wrinkles, the uh, blood right there on his nose and, and I mean look just like how wet and 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 just fresh those wounds look I mean that is just absolutely wild um seeing it looks like the skin's been peeled off some right here you see his ear has also been missing <laughs> uh even right here like with some holes in his body you see um those are a very shiny wet fresh looking red and the gloss is awesome too whenever it comes to the fresh wounds. I mean that that does look like a fresh wound and it's it's incredible. Um uh, and see right here on the arm, the arm, it's an old wound and it's not shiny. It's more of like a very dark red. And I think that looks incredible. What they did that was very, very neat is right here on the hand. Um, it's kind of both. Um, you know, it looks like you see some dark red mainly. Um, but it also does have just a little bit of gloss to it, uh, especially like right up here on like the, uh, tips of his fingers on the back side of them. Um, and again, more detail in the arm with scratches and flesh missing and whatnot. You get some nice, uh, blood in his hair. And his hair is pretty cool too. Swooped over to the side. Now, I do love the back. Even the back has, um, some fresh looking wounds. Right there with it being very glossy and wet looking. And you see some dry blood that's stained into the clothes. This is probably one of my favorite pieces besides the head itself. Is how there's like a big chunk of his thigh missing right there. And it looks just so gory man. Like all of like the muscle in there. It even has like the orangey kind of yellow look. You know with infected wounds in real life. And that's just crazy detail. All the holes right there, and again, like, you know how that... It looks like he got bitten maybe right there, and there were some scratches right there or something. That's pretty cool. Right there, you can see, like, all just, like, the veins and everything in the leg. Just That's just crazy. You can even see some wounds right there. If I can get to focus some. There we go. Absolutely incredible. See some on the knee. I do love how nasty the toes are. They're, like, all black. And gross but it's cool because you can see the bones um, I forget I really don't know what you're calling me I'm not a doctor here but like the uh, bones or whatever you want to call them that go down to the toes up to the foot very 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 cool and uh, again some more wounds right there that look fresh and cool and, and again the pants are very very cool with the um, uh, folds and whatnot Coming over here to the other leg, uh, I do like how they included a, just like a normal rip. You know, not like not every single little rip has to be a wound. Adds a level of realism that I really, really dig. Um, you know, you can see more leg wounds right here. Again, some stains right here on the crotch area of the pants. And it's cool because this uh, foot right here actually has a shoe on. And the shoe itself has really good detail. I mean, look at that. Looks pretty cool. Um, even has some, it's like some, uh, what do you call it? Some tread right there, if you will. Um, so very, very neat. Absolutely love that zombie. 
Now the last piece I'm going to show on this as far as uh, characters, if you consider zombies characters, is this guy. Now of course he's only half a zombie because you know the base is lined up with it. But man oh man look at him. <laughs> Again, I love the pupils, how, you know, they just look, I mean, he's he's dead, or it looks like he's near dead, and they're just lazy looking, and I absolutely love that, man. Um, but, I mean, look at the freaking jaw. Oh my gosh, look at that. If I can focus a little better. There we go. I mean, jeez, <laughs> it's insane. Seeing all of that, and it's so textured, it feels weird if you rub your finger across of it. Uh, again, you see like, some nasty, like yellowish looking dry blood, some dirty blood. Um, well, some fresh blood, rather. All blood's kind of dirty, but you know what I mean. Again, like another just random hole in the shirt. Very cool. And his arm stretches out over here, which is pretty easy to miss at first. Uh, but yeah, it does stretch out over here, and his hand's missing. Uh, maybe a little easter egg to Rick getting his hand cut off maybe even though it's an opposite arm. I don't know Anyways, though, that looks pretty neat um, now his other arm uh, You know it just cuts off right here because again, that's where you know, obviously the base ends um, But I do like the plaid shirt and uh, it's actually textured with that so that's very very cool and seeing like a dark hole in his head um, Very very neat You can see his ear right there. Very cool. And then the last little detail I want to touch on is the rocks. Um, the rocks, for them just being rocks, <laughs> actually look pretty cool. Uh, you got some nice, like, sand right here, and it looks like some moss, you know, it's like growing over the rocks. Looks like a very old uh, rock that's been, you know, um, grown over with. It's very, very cool. You see some white, uh, I don't know if those are mushrooms. Is that some kind of other moss too? I don't know. But the rock itself is very uh, textured and um, feels very good. And no, I'm not talking about Dwayne Johnson. Um, talking about this rock. <laughs> but anyways, uh, again, you see some more of that. Looks very neat. Um, I do like how it looks like it's overgrown and it's just been out in the wilderness for a long time. Kind of represents the world they live in, you know. Uh, of course, the world hasn't really been um, taken over by zombies long enough for everything to be grown over with moss, but it just kind of represents what the world's going to become, you know. And I don't know. I just like that. Very, very cool. So, guys, um, with that said, that is going to be it. Uh, this is my review um, for this statue. Again, I highly recommend it. You could pick it up for around, uh, I think I've seen about $60 to $100 on eBay, give or take. There is a connecting piece with it. It doesn't plug in anywhere, but a zombie that can kind of just like set up against right here. That's like reaching up. I would like to get that at some point. I think I've seen them go for like 30 to 50 bucks. I'd only really recommend at most spending 30 because I mean, you know, it's just like that. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get it at some point. But very, very cool though, guys. I love this. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And again, I'm very, very happy to have this as an early birthday present from my sweet, sweet girlfriend absolutely love it you guys have a great christmas uh, a great uh, holiday season with your family and friends merry christmas to you all uh, god bless and thank you all for watching i'll catch you all later